In this video, I will demonstrate how you can remotely control your Samsung Galaxy S5 from your PC. Alright, so the program you want to get from the Google Play Store It's called Quick Support. That should be better from a company called TeamViewer. Search for TeamViewer. I'm going to get TeamViewer Quick Support. I already have it installed on this my phone, but just install it. And then there's one other application after you install this main one. You want to get the QS add-on for Samsung. And do the same thing, install this one secondly, and then I'll give you the remote control feature. And once you have it installed, find its icon and click on it. And basically what it does is it generates an ID. These are some of the options. But then you go onto your computer and you have to install Team Viewer on your computer, which I will show later in this video. And when you do, you're going to enter in this number, which I have blurred out here a little bit, just so uh, someone else can connect to my phone. But then when that person does connect, you'll see a little pop-up, so I'll show that in a second. So as you see here, the last four if you want to allow or deny remote support, so you say allow. And that brings up the basic interface. But you could also actually do remote control and actually see the screen of your phone from your computer and control it just like you were sitting there. So I'll show you what that looks like next. All right, here we are on the PC with TeamViewer already installed and you want to put in that number that when you started on your phone gave you a nine digit number so you type that in here click connect to partner and as you saw before on the phone the person will click allow or you click allow on it and that brings up this main interface here which gives you various information about your phone CPU usage, RAM, battery, storage, Wi-Fi you can also do basic things like take a screenshot and see what apps the phone has and request a screenshot and you could chat to the phone. But the most useful part is actually the remote control. Okay, and then when you hit remote control from the PC, it'll again ask you to allow remote control, so you say yes. Now if you look in the upper left there, it says that screen sharing was enabled. So now if you go back to the computer, everything you do on this will show up on the PC as well. So go back to the Play Store, close that. Everything you do here will show up on your computer and also from the computer you can control the phone. So I'll demonstrate that next. Which is what you need that second app for. So you click on Remote Control, then on the phone you click Allow, and then now you actually see the display of your phone in a window on your computer and you can fully control it so you can either on the phone just use your phone like you normally would and scroll back and forth and move different apps and you can change screens but if you want to control the phone from your computer you do the same thing here just think of your mouse pointer here as your finger. So if you click and drag to the left, you'll go swipe between screens. You can minimize this toolbar up here. You can swipe down from the top to bring up your quick settings here in your notification area. And you just swipe back up again. Just click on a program that starts it up and you can use it like normal. So basically everything you could normally do on your phone. Oh, I Made a mistake there seven times. Eight equals 
So, so that's basically how you control your Samsung Galaxy S5 from your PC. Hopefully you found this video useful and thank you for watching. If you'd like to see more Windows 8, Android, or Beginners videos, click on one of these video clips and also consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you.